Hey everyone! Welcome to another edition of the Making of Squirrel Nuts, the cartoon. What I do here is show you the process while demonstrating how I use animation tools. I mostly work in Adobe Animate, and this is what I'll be working in today. So, um, before I get started, let me just give you a quick update on the new episode of Squirrel Nuts. Yeah, it's been taking forever, but animation takes a long time. Uh, so it's almost done. Just doing a few more scenes that was suggested by Clint, the producer and creator of Nuggets. Um, that's a great cartoon, and I will leave the link in the bottom. And he's my partner of Southern Fried Animations, and I'm going to be doing some work in there too. Pretty interesting and cool stuff. So today we're going to work on my fly character, Poo Poo, and transform her body from a JPEG graphic to a symbol graphic in Adobe Animate. A symbol graphic just seems to work better when creating animation in Adobe Animate, so this is why I do this. If anyone has suggestions or feedback, feedback about the series or anything, please leave a comment, okay? We'd really love to hear from you. And like everyone says on YouTube, please subscribe. Okay, let's get started. So let's recreate him. I'm going to show you. Here's a library right here. Let me bring my face down here. Here's a library right here. So I've already recreated the eyes. And I'm going to actually put them in a nesting file. So then I could just switch the eyes. And Clint showed me how to do that. There's a squirrel right there. And he's, he's actually in, um, in the, in the um, a Photoshop file right now. But I have to recreate it to get to, um, to add the animation. Or it looks really weird. OK, so I'm done here. Here's all the eyeballs. Uh, what I need to do now is I just need to create his wings and his butt and his legs. So let's do that now, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I use it. I'm, I don't draw very well, and I do have a stylus, and I love the stylus. But I'm um, I'm kind of showing people how they can draw just using the mouse. So you don't have to go out there and actually and buy a um, stylus pen. You can use your mouse to draw, and just by shapes, especially in Adobe Animate. Okay, so let's get started. So if I pop that in, you see my eyes? My eyes look pretty darn good. If I move it, see? I did a pretty, it looks pretty good. And this was all just by shapes. Um, I just did it by shapes. Let me go undo move, just come up here to undo move. Um, what I'm gonna do now, and here's his body. So I created his body. I just turned off the eyes so you can't see it. Now what I need to, uh, to, to uh, create is his wings. So this is how I do it. I create, just like if you work in Photoshop, it's kind of similar to that. You um, just work in layers. So, cause you don't want to ruin your other stuff. So I'm going to, here's my layer here. I, I turn off the eyeball to make sure there's nothing on it. Cause there's nothing on it. I'm going to lock my other layers down here in the timeline. And I'm going to create a new layer. Oh no, the layers is good. So I'm going to actually control plus or con control um, a command plus for Apple. And I'm going to go in here and you see, you see how, the, how it's really pixelated? It's because it's not very good quality. But you see mine, mine's great quality. So that's why, I'll, uh, again, that's why I'm, kind of, I'm change, transforming him to, um, to look just like the eye, just look, to look like my, my um, fly without looking, without being weird. I don't, that doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, my mouth is full of marbles right now, but... Let's just get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. And again, if I turn it off, you see that? See this and this? See how what how pixelated it is? But after I've created what I needed to create, created the shapes and made symbols of them, looks a lot better. Okay, so let's go and let's let's do the wing. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a shape, left click, I'm gonna grab an oval shape, and I'm just going to lay it over. Uh, my character and it's probably like this and what I always do first is I just let go I mean I just e click and I I um I um erase the the inside of the of the character so I could have the outline stroke and I could shape it so I'm going to click delete now now here's just my outline stroke I'm going to um use a free transform tool just to grab all of it inch and uh, position it. So I'm going to position it like that. I'm going to move it. I Sometimes I use the arrows. You guys all have the arrows on your, on your, um, 
uh, what you call it, where you, where your keys are. Okay, so here we are. So with um, what's really cool about animate is that you could shape the um, the lines easy, the strokes easy, just by uh, using the selection tool and then just doing a shape. I mean, just grabbing that. You see a little happy face that shows up. That tells you that you could you could start shaping your character. So I'm just going to start shaping them. And I'm just going to left click hold and then just kind of bring it down and try to make it as close as exact to it as possible. Um, here we are. Bring this in a little bit more. Like that. Maybe bring this in, out a little bit more. Bring that in. You see how it's gradually shaping into something, which is very cool. And I could stretch it out a little bit just so I could manipulate this better and right there so that looks good and then i'm going to go on this side here bring it in just a little bit it's, again it's always lift clicking i'm just going to move this around just to um just shape it and i'm just lift clicking and holding and i'm doing this again doing like this, this and as long as it retains its shape here it doesn't matter that it goes like this or right here because it's going to be behind the um, body anyway so that looks good that looks really good so i'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and i like the um you know what i'm gonna make the the um stroke a little larger so i'm just gonna double click and then i'm gonna go up to properties and i'm gonna make the stroke just a little larger right there two three that looks better okay so it looks good looks great but you know the shadow so i still got to do all that so i have that okay so that's good so now i have the shape of it that's very good now i'm gonna um actually i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm going to uh, label this because if I don't, I'll forget. I'm just going to say wing here. And then I'm going to do the inside of the wing right here, this part here. And it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm just going to go plus. And I'm just going to say uh, wing line. You could write anything. I just write anything that I remember. So wing line. And I'm going to use the uh, line tool now. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to lock my wing so I don't draw on that. And the reason why you want to shape it is because it's just easiest to manipulate and control it. So I'm going to go here. Look at that. See how easy that was? Boom, that's done. Do the same thing with here. You see the quality? The quality is great. Boom, that's done. Done. Oops. Done. And it's just uh, left click and hold down and let go look at that that was great so that's good so now i'm going to um recreate the inside of the of the of the wing the color of the wing i am going to lock this again and later on i'm just going to combine all these layers so i'm going to do the next one and i'm just going to say color and again, you could label it the way you want. I just remember it that way. And then I want this exact color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, eyedropper tool first, first, and I'm just going to click right inside it. But before I do that, actually, and I should have did this before, because what I do, if I do this now, look. Oops. It is, is in the color. It's going to paint it now. There it is. It's going to fill it on, but I can't see it. That's really weird. That's bizarre. It should come right up. Wing, color. I'll turn it on. Okay, well, ideally, it's supposed to come on. I don't know why it's not coming on now. Let me see. Let me erase the other stuff. Let me turn off the other stuff and see why it's not turning on. No, it's good. It looks good. It looks good. So I always do that. Just check with the eyeballs. I mean, I, I just turn off the eyeballs. Just if you work in Photoshop, you could do the same thing. Um, so that's not painting. So I got to figure out why it's not painting. I'm going to lock all of them except for the wing line. That's not painting. So I wonder why. You know what? I think because maybe, let me see. No, it's right there. Oh, the color is locked. So maybe that's it. Let me see. It says it's locked, so something is locked, and I have to just figure that out. So that's not. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna delete it because if there's something goofy happening, I'm gonna go again and hit it again, and it's not coloring. But I see this right here. Why is this locked? 
lock fill. No, I don't want fill lock. So how do I lock it? So something, sometimes a program does this and you just gotta see how you could, how you can unlock stuff. I don't know why it's not working. Like if I was to come here, nope, it's not working. It's just locked. Um, let's see here, lock layer. Usually it just comes up really easy, but it's locked for some reason. Go here. You should left click and be able to lock it. I mean, able to unlock it, but it's not even let me do that. So, oh, now it tells me it's locked, but it's, hmm. Let me bring down again, go here, lock. Let me see if it works somewhere else. Grab that, go here, click on that. So that's all you do is just check if it works or not. Switch it, that's good. Uh, let's change the color to, to um, let's go here, let's hit that. Now this, it changes, yeah, so that's bizarre. Sometimes it doesn't um, work. And the reason why is because it's not, it's not connected 100%. There's some place that's not connected. So that's the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up here. Oh, what a, I'm so sorry. You know what I did wrong is I was on layer five and not on the wing line where the, where the uh, stroke is. That's why it's not working. So I'm sorry, but here we go. So let's go back. Let's go to the wing. Let's turn that off. Okay, there it is. That's that's why it wasn't working. To color it, I would have to, and make sure you click deselect it. But here I'm on the wing side where the where the um where the stroke is, and I bet it's going to work now. And it's the color I want. Look, yeah. Okay. So the reason why this wasn't working is because I had put it in another layer, and that's why it didn't have the stroke. But that's all you do. And you see, so it's completely um colored now. But I don't want to do that just yet because I still need to put this here in the shadow, the different shadows. So I'm going to go edit, undo, fill, and I'm going to lock it. So that's what happens. Just you got to really, you know, even me, I've been doing this for a long time. I forget. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to create this shape and I'm going to create this shape. And I'm going to go up to, I'm going to use my uh, selection tool again. And I have everything's locked and I'm gonna come up here. And it doesn't matter with the colors yet because I am just gonna, I just need a shape. So I'm gonna go here and it's not gonna affect anything else. That's why you wanna do it in different shapes because if you don't, I mean in layers, because if you don't do it in the different layers, it's gonna affect everything. It's gonna hook up on one of these other strokes. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we go here, selection tool, uh, I mean the, um, that's a selection to the free transform tool. And if you work in Photoshop, it works the same way. You can just move it around and you can adjust the size. So I'm gonna go here, but I'm actually gonna do, again, take away, oops, take away the inside of it, clean delete. And because I just want, I don't want the color and I wanna be able to see how I could shape it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it now with the selection tool, go up here and I'm gonna bring it down. Here we are. I'm gonna zoom in control plus on PC, command plus on your Apple. Okay, and then I'm just gonna shape it. Oops. Oh, and something happened here, edit, undo. And I, I just always go edit, undo. And you see this right here? If I do that, it's gonna, it's not gonna grab the whole line, the whole, um shape it's just going to grab that little section and it messes everything up so i'm just going to go edit undo select again okay now i'm sure it's going to grab everything and there we go so that's good it looks good so far um to shape and it doesn't have to be perfect but it could be pretty close to being perfect and this one I, it doesn't have a um stroke so I'm probably going to get rid of that stroke. But before I do that, I am going to, I like that. I think that's good. I'm just going to paint it. And you know, I could paint it now because I do have a stroke around it. You can't just paint. You can just draw painting, but it's good to use a fill because it's a lot faster. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to use a, a bucket. I'm mean, not the bucket. I'm going to use a eyedropper so I could get the exact color that I want. And that's what you want to do. And I come up here and you see this little line here. You can move it to see that. And you know what? It's pretty much white, but I'm just gonna hit it anyway. 
Yeah, it's totally white. I'm going to go back again, move this little timeline. You could always get rid of the timeline. Um, if you're not really using it, you could just kind of bring it down here. Okay. Or you could even erase it and then come back to Windows and bring it back up. Okay, so E's good. I'm just going to... I picked it with my with my dropper, the color. So if it was a really unique color, it would, it would have picked it up. And then the um, the bucket, paint bucket, automatically turns on. And I'm just going to color it. You see? Now it's colored. I'm going to go to the selection tool. I'm going to click once because I don't want to grab the color inside the fill. I just want to grab the stroke. And I'm just going to delete it. See, that looks pretty good. That looks great. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to lock. I'm going to say that uh, just side, side shadow. Shadow. Okay. Lock it. Go to the next one. Double click. I'm going to do the side grace. Uh, I'm just going to say right shadow or R for sh shadow, right shadow, because I don't know what I'm talking about. And so I have one more shape to do. And it's going to be easy again. A couple of different ways of doing it, but I'm going to do it the easiest way so it doesn't confuse you. Control minus to get back in here. And I'm just going to go up here with my selection tool again. I think a square might work better doing this thing. So I'm going to go up here. And if this happens, if you see this little um, pencil show up, that means you're, you're in a lock layer. So just move it up here. See, now it's good. I'm going to use a square. I think a square a square is going to act better. Um, I'm going to go like that. This is going to be a little tricky, but that's okay. Go like this. About I think it's about this. Sometimes you got to eyeball stuff. Click on that. Grab this. I'm going to bring it down like that. Position it. And remember what I'm going to do? I am going to... Um, get rid of the inside, which is uh, fill, delete, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so that looks pretty good so far. Uh, okay, so let's start shaping. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to grab the corner, bring it right there, left click, and then I'm going to bring, I'm going to grab the corner here. I'm going to bring it down to here. You see how that's working? It's looking good. And then I'm going to, oops. Got to come up here because it has to be, has to, has to kind of do a, uh, uh, follow the, um, the outline of the, of the wing. I'm going to bring this down here. It stops right there. That's fine because it's not, again, it's not going to see this part of it. I'm going to bring this over here. And the reason why you want to um, put in a, uh, the stroke is because you need the stroke or you're not going to be able to color it. So look at that. Isn't that cool? You just left click and you just kind of manipulate it to kind of, there we go, uh, to follow the the shape. And all you do is left click and like that. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to uh, also use my arrows to kind of bring this in a little bit like that. I got to actually grab it bring it in like that okay so that's looking good okay and then i'm going to bring this out a little bit like that and you see how that's shaping really nice bring that oops bring that in a little bit more and it's not grabbing anything underneath it's just grabbing the wing um uh the it's just grabbing from the layer that you're working on and i'm going to bring this bring that in like this a little bit more bring that in um and it's just all about just adjusting adjusting till you get it now people are probably saying oh don't that seems like it's a long it's going to take a long time yeah sometimes it does but um again if you're not really if you don't have a stylus oh let me show you something i'm going to do real quick if you don't have a stylus pen then um it's hard to draw with one of these it's just a bummer and i know anybody who's working with a mouse saying yeah it's a it's a b to draw like that and what i just did right now is you notice i'm having issues right here um i am going to use the line tool to separate these shapes so then i could i could um manipulate them better so i'm going to do it right here with this crazy curve i'm just going to do that and it's going to it literally separates the shapes look oops 
Grab that. See how it separates it? Like that. And it makes it, it just makes it easier to work with. It's probably confusing because I have that, have the line, uh, the uh, inside of the, the wing line. I'm going to get rid of that so we can't see it. It still has a, the a bottom graphic of it. That's what you're saying. You're not seeing what I drew. Okay, so the shape is still right here, still a little bit of an issue. Uh, I'm just going to draw another line. Again, about right here. And then I'm going to use my selection tool. See, that was perfect. So it's completely hooked up. Perfect. It's as perfect. Oops, there we go. And then all I do is just delete. I mean, collect. Delete, click, delete, click, delete, and I'm done. So here it is. There's my shape. Um, it's, let me move this a little bit more like that. There we go. It's perfect. And then I'm just going to color it this color. So I'm going to go up to my uh, eyedropper and I'm going to pick the, uh, the color that I need, which is this. And it's funny because usually, I'm going to put the line back in. Usually it'll just, it'll pick it. Even though these are locked, it's still going to pick it if you hover over it. I'm going to click on it. See that? It picked it perfectly. So that's the color that's going to put in right here. And it, the bucket comes up automatically. I'm just going to, oh, I noticed something. See this right here? Let me fix that a little bit more. Oh, shoot. So that happens right now. Again, easy fix. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. Selection tool and the little happy face shows up. Boom, done, done, perfect, pretty perfect. And then I'm just going to click delete, 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 delete. And there it is, there it is. That's good enough. I'm going to double, triple click to make sure that this is all, um, there's no, there's no gaps because if the gaps, it's not, it's not going to color fill in. I also hit this here, expand to fill just in case. And it, it seems to, uh, to close these gaps if there's any gaps. So let me, I'm going to go back to, um, my bucket is, it still stays with the color that I wanted to use. Click inside, watch this. Boom. That looks great. Okay. So of course there's a couple little things that I would mess with. I'm just going to click on that, though, and that's that's the stroke because I don't need the stroke. Obviously, I'm just going to click delete. Stroke is gone. The color is there. It looks pretty good. And I can still manipulate the color also just by moving, moving around it and just like filling the gap in a little bit. Um, sometimes it takes a little time. Control plus, control plus, but it's war. I think it's just makes it easier, especially if you don't have a, still this part here. And I could always go in with my bucket and paint that. Oh, I have to click on here. I'll paint that here. If it doesn't work, go into my wing. That's probably my wing that I need to paint inside. Uh, be sure to you see how I connect how, how it, I selected that be sure to deselect it because then you're going to paint that part. Okay, go here, deselect, make sure it's still highlighted. Um, paint, there we go, but I painted everything. Oh, so there's something you got to work on, edit, undo fill color. So that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to just shape it the best I can and make make it look pretty decent move this here it doesn't have to be perfect just remember that you don't have to be perfect but close enough to being perfect so here and this was kind of a weird shape so that's why it's kind of hard to do but that's okay. Okay, so it's working. You, you just gotta, it's like clay. You just gotta work on it, work on it, work on it until it looks good like this. And here and make sure that it's right there and make sure it's right there, just a little bit. And bring this up here 
and bring this back a little bit like this. And you could always use your trusty um, eraser tool. Oops, don't grab all of it. Um, I think I have to grab all of it and adjust it again. Okay, there we go. And then just use your trusty eraser tool a little bit and just erase a little pieces just to adjust it. It's not going to erase the um, other size, other size of your character. I mean, I, I mean the other layers with the stroke and stuff. It's not going to erase it. So there it is. I think that looks good. Um, and if it doesn't look good, if I'm not happy with it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna replace it. Here we are. Uh, the stroke isn't there yet, so I can't really see how it's going to look with the, with the stroke. The stroke is an outline. Remember, this stroke that you see right now is from the original. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the stroke, the wing again. There it is. Oh, shoot. You know what? It is covering it. Uh, let me take off the main layer and see how it looks. So there it is. Okay, sometimes you want to do that just to adjust everything. Control minus and it's okay. It's not as good as I want it to be, but that's okay. I'm gonna sometimes you just gotta work with what you have, right? So that's it there. That looks good. You know what? I don't like it. So I'm gonna just delete it. If that happens, if you don't like it, just delete it and start over. I'm gonna try a new way of doing this. And this is a little tricky, but I'll show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to go on a wing. I'm going to deselect it. I'm going to just select this part here. Nope, you won't even, it won't even let you do that. Um, I am just actually just going to have to create it with my line. So I'm going to go back again. I'm going to go and I'm going to follow my wing again. Turn on the whole layer. There you are. And I am just going to make the line, make the shape right there. Because this is kind of just a stroke. Make the stroke shape here. Like that. And that's good. And then, you know what I could do too? Edit, undo line. Edit, undo line. What? You could do, and this is why animation takes so long. <laughs> What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to copy this, this, um, the outline already stroke, edit, uh, copy, and then I am going to paste it. And you'll see why there's a method to my madness. You'll see why I'm going to do it this way. I think this is easier. Edit, paste in place. When you paste in place, it paste it right underneath the um, other layer. And I'm going to move this like that and see if that works if i put it like this and maybe move this down because this is my other layer move this down like that here move this down like that no that's not going to work so i just go edit undo so you know you just got to keep on working it till something works Edit again. I'm gonna um, paste it, paste it again. Edit, paste in place. There it is. And I am going to actually cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna cut it right here. Cut that out. See how it separates it. Delete. Uh, cut this one out, delete, and I think this is it too. Delete. Okay, so that's all gone. So now I only have this part right here. I am going to get rid of this here so it doesn't confuse me. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. You guys are probably saying, hey, that's not how you do it. You're confusing me. Um, I hope I'm not. I hope I'm helping you out. 
And now you know, watch my cartoon, you know that I didn't just throw it together, that everything is where I put my heart into it and I work really hard to to make these cartoons. It's just not something I do in five minutes. You know, I'm a, it's football day and I'm doing this, but that's okay because I love, I love my art. You know, this is what I live for. This is what I want to do. This is good. Okay, so that's okay. You know, that looks all right. Let me control plus, get in a little more. And let me move this here a little bit. That's good. I think that looks good. Let me put a little arch on this here. Bring this, oops, bring that a little bit. Okay. That's looking awesome. Okay, so it's good. I think we're good. Okay, let's see if it looks good. Now let's color it. Um, that is fantastic. That looks great. Like if I turn off everything, you'll see what happened. Let me turn off the main. That looks really good. So now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of the, the outline. Delete, delete. See how easy that was? Yeah, right. Not too easy, but see how it worked? Let me get rid of all this stuff. And you know, I don't mind this part here. That doesn't bother me. That's fine. Make sure there's nothing here. Okay. I'm just getting rid of all the layers on that one. I think that looks good. I like that. Control plus. Maybe just clean it up a little bit right here. Um, come up with my eraser tool. Come in just a little bit. And it's not erasing the off nothing but the color because I'm at that layer. See? It looks like it's erasing everything, but it's not. It's just erasing the fill. And that looks good. Now, if you want to say, Ray, that sucks. It should be totally smooth. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, you ever heard of character? So he has a little bit of character. Okay. There we go. I think that looks good. Control plus, minus, minus, minus. That looks really good. So I'm almost done. Now what I have to do is now I'm going to go to my wing. I'm going to turn on everything. So I can see, oops, so I can see everything that's happening here. Um, there's my wing, turn him on again. And we're almost done with this puppy. There we go. And let me see, where was a, a wing line? Good side, where's that one at? Is that still there? Yeah, it's still there. And then there's the, there's the, uh, the last one. And then now I have to go to my wing and I have to paint that. So I'm going to paint it this color. I'm going to go up to my, oops, make sure you, do, you don't select everything. Okay. I'm going to go up to my, um, there it is, is already that color? No, it's that other color. Let me go like this, click. Okay, it's a light one. And then I'm going to paint it. Wow, so that looks pretty good. I think it looks great. And I got it. You see how you, you're, you're probably saying, look, this is overflowing. Well, because that's with stacking order. I'm just going to move this here. It's a wing line. And now it's not overflowing. And it's still pretty more dominant than this, than, than the one previously, the shadowing. So I might just control plus and make it the shadow just a little bit. Not as dominant. I'm going to go up to this, the layer that I'm working on. I'm just going to maybe just adjust it just a little bit more and not make it so dominant. Just move that here, move that like that. Just because it's a shadow. No shadows are perfect, right? It's here. And I don't know why it's so stuck there. There we are. Okay. There we go. Just smooth it out a little bit. There we are. Just smooth it out by dragging. We kind of smooth it out. Sometimes it does have overlapping. I like it like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to click on this and I'm going to bring in the opacity down to make it look like a shadow. Bring it down to like 40, 36%. Did I just do that? No. Okay. Edit. <laughs> Undo. 
Is it on the right one? Let's see. Here we are. Go back to the side. No, it was locked. That's why it wasn't working. Click on this. Uh, it was this one here. Good. Okay. Click on this. Make sure you could always, there we go. Just you could always make sure which one you're working on. Click on this. And let's bring it, let's bring it down now. Boy, that doesn't really look much. Let's bring it down even up like that. Is that working? Edit, undo, edit, undo. Could you want to make sure that it's working? Edit. Okay, so it's 100%. So I'm going to lock everything now to make sure. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so that's the one I'm working on. That's what you want to do just to make sure. Click on here. It's highlighted. Now let's bring it down. There we go. Okay. So that looks way better than really dark. But let me click on it again. Maybe it's too. Oops. Maybe it's too. Let's bring it up a little bit more to like 46. Okay. That looks great. You see how that looks? That looks good. Okay. It's not exactly like this one, but it's still good enough. And then so now I have my wing. Um, let me turn off the. And it's going to be moving so fast that you won't even hardly see it. So you gotta you gotta pick your battles, as they say, and you gotta figure out. Well, you know, is this gonna is this gonna be you? I mean, is is this gonna be like a like a standstill and you're gonna be looking at it all the time, or is this something that's gonna be fluttering and you're not really gonna notice? Um, yeah, if it was more de if it was more like a standstill, you always look at it, then you might put more work into it. But that's good. I think that wing looks awesome. So I'm gonna control minus. And I'm not going to draw the other one. What I'm going to do is I'll just draw one wing because I think it's okay. Oh, I got to make sure that I lock everything except for the wings. So the wings was this one. Unlock, 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 unlock. Everything else is locked. I'm going to uh, left click, drag, hold. So it grabbed everything. I'm going to say modify, convert to symbol, and I'm just going to say wing. And there we are. This is wing. So is wings always, when you do that and you create a symbol, it's always created into your library. So all I do, like if I was ready to draw, and you see how it's already in the back of this? Oh, no, it's not in the back. Okay, here it is. Just adjustment. All you do is just move this, and it's now it's called um, Sideshow, and all these other layers are erased, so I would just delete them so I don't, because nothing's on them, just the names. It was just like, Empty paper now. Okay, so here we are. And it's on that layer. You could tell if you just go bing. So it's on that layer. So here we go. And and the body, it would be behind the body. So you just do a stacking order. There we are. Like that. And I want to turn this on because it's super important to put it exactly where it is, I think. There it is. And then I just print in his other, like I'll make a, another layer. And I'll just say right wing. Right wing. And then left wing, left wing. And here we are, and then I'm bringing in my left wing. I don't have to draw another one, I'm just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna turn it around like that. I'm not even gonna draw it. And then I'm gonna position it so it could be kind of the same thing here. Let me turn off my lip body again. And there he is. So there we go. And that didn't take too long. I'm going to do the same thing with uh, with his legs using these tools, but I'm not going to bore you to death and with a little butt in the back. Um, but that's how you do it. That's how you do do something um, with if you don't you can't draw and you have your mouse, you only have a mouse. That's how you do it. Just utilize your shapes and the line tool and you're good to go. <laughs> Excuse me. So thank you so much. Uh, this cartoon should be done this week. What well, will be done this week? Because I got to do voiceovers now. Because I got to change a couple of things. That didn't make sense. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please look at my cartoon. Tell me what you think. Nobody says anything. So <laughs> say something. You know, except that it sucks. <laughs> mm. You see how hard it is, man. If it was so easy, you know, the people that come negative says, "Oh, it sucks." Man, well, what are you doing? Oh, I forgot. You're looking at TV all day. Okay. And you're not following your dream. Oh, I see why you hate everything. But, <laughs> but
But if you're following your dream, you're going for it, you know, um, it makes you happy. Like I'm, I'm happy with my, how he looks now. I think he looks great. And um, yeah, so you'll see him now moving, moving around in the, in the scenes and um, you know how I created him. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. And here is the finished product. I um, saw this right here, so I'm going to have to fix that. But look, pretty cute. Pretty cute. This is a new body of fly.